Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, saints of God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. I'm going to be glad in it. Uh, it's thankful Thursday, July the 16th, 2020, and we are blessed of God to once and again be found present and accounted for in the land of the living. Of course, first and foremost, to my fellowship family, and then to all of our loved ones, our friends that tune in with regularity to our morning meditation. We greet each of you in the precious, perfect and pronounced name of Jesus. He's the risen Christ. Hopefully, prayerfully, you woke up this morning, you've already done your self-check. And I'm just following up with you to make sure uh, that not only are you doing well physically, but mentally, emotionally, spirit, spiritually, my body and soul. I just want to make sure you're okay. And so this is me checking on you pastorally. God bless you. I also want to dive in, of course, um, to our morning meditation, our scripture. Uh, I got to hurry up and make my way into the sanctuary. Today is our um, taping for the morning services for Sunday. So let me just jump in. Uh, I want to share in your hearing from the 34th number of Psalms today. Psalm 34. And when you get a chance, read the whole Psalm, the entire Psalm. It's powerful. Uh, it's provocative. It'll bless you. Um, but let me extract just one verse today that I want to uh, focus attention on. That's verse 8. Psalms 34, verse 8. It reads this way. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. You may hear in the background, I've got uh, that song, Taste and See, playing. And um, that is the theme song for our uh, talk show, Faith, Facts, and Fears. Let me digress. Let me, let me get back to where I was. David says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Some tastes, saints of God, are an acquired taste. Meaning, in other words... Um, it's not immediately necessarily appealing uh, upon the first investigation, but uh, once you have some experience tasting it, you acquire a taste for it. I am uh, a seafood lover. I love me some seafood. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if my mother had the microphone um, with, with her comedic undertones, uh, and that's where I get the comedy in my veins. My mother would say something crazy like, yeah, you, you're a seafood lover, all right. All the foods you see, you love. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I really uh, can eat any kind of seafood. I, I love shellfish, you, um, uh, shrimp, lobster, crab, mussels, uh, clams, oysters, you name it. I love seafood, uh, and, and I just I, I have enjoyed over the years just trying any kind of seafood of course all fish uh, catfish cod fish um, salmon um, of course crappie bluegill bass trout you name it um, but um, I, I just enjoy it my wife on the other hand especially when we first got married uh, she's very conservative with everything she eats uh, she has to investigate it literally uh, she'll She'll look at it, uh, up and down. She'll smell it, and and if it don't, if it doesn't look right, if it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, if it doesn't smell right, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not gonna start over, y'all. Forgive me. I gotta hurry up. Uh, if it doesn't look right, if it doesn't smell right, she she's just not gonna eat it. So when we first got married, I took her and and said, "Baby, I want you to try." Sushi. And of course, she like, she looking at it, she like, it's not cooked. I'm like, yeah, try it. And, and we had her to try it. She tried it because she trusted me. She enjoyed it. I said, baby, try this, this um, calamari. She said, what is that? I said, that's squid. Uh-uh. She tried it because she trusted me. Now she enjoys it. What is my point? My point is... Um, I was able to influence my wife uh, that what I had been tasting for years was good because um, she trusted me. 
Um, and saints of God, when God dropped this passage in my spirit, it dawned on me uh, that I'm a witness as to how good God is because for years I've been tasting and I've been seeing that the Lord is good. The question I have for you as we hurry up and I'm going to close. Are you um, a witness as to how good God is to the point where you can um, invite somebody else to try him? Have you tasted enough of God and has he been good enough to you that you're able to influence somebody else to taste him so that they can acquire a taste for trusting God? I stop by to tell you that in times like these, we ought to be walking, talking advertisements as to how tasty our God is, that he's he's so trustworthy and he's historically so good uh, that you can challenge anybody. Taste and see that the Lord is good uh, because you and I who are believers ought to trust him even when we can't trace him. That's why I love this psalm, this whole 34th number of psalm. Uh, it, it's where David opens up uh, saying, I will bless the Lord at all times and his, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And then he invites everybody, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Uh, and then uh, it's that verse, that, that eighth verse that we, we talked about today. It's so good to David uh, that he's able to say to any and everybody, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I don't know about you, but I've acquired such a taste for my God that I can challenge anybody that uh, there's no uh, better, uh, nothing better um, than the Lord my God, and if you just taste him, if you just try him, uh, you'll be just like me. You'll be hooked on him, and you'll be able to convince anybody else who trusts you that you can taste him and see that the Lord really is just that good. That's all I got for you today. I hope this causes you to think and causes you to be thankful and causes you to share with somebody else how good God has been to you historically. And your testimony, hopefully, can um, lead somebody else to tasting your God. So much you got going on today. Uh, gardeners out there, uh, I'm coughing, uh, but I gotta go. Listen, let's pray. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, come we before you grateful and thankful on today. For this another Lord's Day, we are uh, so grateful that you have consistently been good and that any and all of us who's ever uh, been partakers of your goodness, can be advertisements as to how good you really are. God, we bless you and we thank you uh, for what you have done. God, we thank you for in this season what you are doing. But God, because we've tasted you and we know that you historically have been good, uh, we're believing and blessing God in advance for what you're going to do. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that more would be led uh, to drink from the well uh, of living water that you provide. And when all is said and done, God, we'll be careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor forever. For it's in our elder son, elder brother, your son, Jesus' name we pray. All God's people said, amen. Listen, uh, as always, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. The Lord calls his face to shine on you and give you peace. That's my prayer until we see each other again. Now, shelter in place and shelter in peace. And I'll talk to you soon.